Hello and welcome to another AQA GCSE revision video. Uh, this is the third paper in the foundation tier of the June 2017 past papers. Uh, this is the uh, non so this is a calculator paper, so we are allowed to use calculators, and we're picking up in question 13. It reads: A circle is drawn on a centimeter grid. And part 13a says, draw a tangent to the circle. Okay, well that's fairly straightforward. A tangent is a line that just touches the circumference of the circle in one place and one place only. Do not draw your line like this, because that would be a chord, not a tangent. So it must just kiss the circle. And you can draw it anywhere. You can, as long as it just touches the circle in one place, and one place only. So it's a straight line that just touches the circle, and it doesn't matter where you draw it, so long as it just touches the circle at one point, and only one point. So I would have used a ruler if I had the choice. And I would have just lined the ruler up so that I could draw a line that just touches the surface of the circle or just touches the outside of the circle. And that's all. It does not go through the interior of the circle. And that's a tangent line. Again, it could be vertical, it could be a diagonal in any orientation, as long as it just touches the circumference in one place only. Okay, so part 13b says, Grace works out that the area of the circle is more than 9 centimetres squared. Why must this be wrong? Okay, well I'm assuming that each one of these are 1 centimetre by 1 centimetre square, which you can easily check with your ruler. Um, but it's really easy to show that if I draw a nice thick line here, I can draw a square that's three centimeters by three centimeters. Now this square is three centimeters across by three centimeters up. So this is nine square centimeters. You can even count the square centimeters inside the square. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this square is an area of nine centimeters squared. And as you can see, the circle fits very neatly inside the square. In fact, I'd better draw a a more pronounced um, tangent line, hadn't I, so that an examiner can see. So there we go, there's a different tangent line. Okay, so that's the answer to part B, is just that the circle fits inside a 9 centimeter square um, square. So if I put um, circle fits inside three by three square and that's all you need to say for one mark you don't need to bother trying to calculate the actual area of the circle um, in fact if you did you would actually be hard pressed trying to do that because you you don't actually know the radius of the circle you would actually have to measure carefully the circumference uh, so the um the diameter of the circle and divide it by 2 using your ruler uh, and that could be tricky it would be possible you just slide your ruler down the circle until you found the widest possible point of the circle and measure the widest part possible point of the circle then divide that by two to get your radius then square your radius and multiply it by pi and that would give you the area of the circle 
But that's a, a lot of hard work for one lousy mark when it's easy just to say, well, effectively just saying obviously it's less than uh, nine square centimetres because each one of these little squares is a square centimetre and you can draw a square around those nine square centimetres and you can see that the circle fits very nicely inside that square. So obviously the area of this circle must be less than nine centimetres squared. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.